Song lyrics tell tales of love, loss, lessons, and life. Because it's a very personal thing to release, you know, part of your soul out into the world. Sometimes, even the creation of the song is a story itself. We were just stepped into the moment. That's yeah. what it was. One such story, call it a folklore, began at Soundhouse Studios in downtown Lakeland. They do a little bit of everything. We work a lot with um, bands, with singer-songwriters, voiceovers, audiobooks. We just try really, really hard to make sure that while you're here, that, you know, it just feels like you're in somebody's home. One recent recording session made its way into a lot of people's homes. It was late May. One of Soundhouse's clients, Bobby Hawk, called asking if he could book some time to work on a mystery project for producer Jack Antonoff. He spent an hour in this room playing violin. Little did any of them know where that music would end up. Like the mysterious project. <laughs> Hawk, who lives in New York, was visiting family in Winter Haven when the pandemic struck. Not a good time to fly back to a studio there, so he stayed here. Like it just came to us and just said, for Rob, Project X, boop, and it was just a MIDI string file. They recorded, sent the file. Weeks went by and they waited on the final product. The engineer on the record, when she sent me a message the day of the release, and that's when I finally found out what was going on. That violin recording was now part of track eight, August, on Taylor Swift's surprise album, Folklore, released July 24th. Like, oh my gosh, like yeah. the Taylor Swift album. There it is, right under the liner notes, Soundhouse, Lakeland, Florida. I remember sitting down in the car and listening to August and, and um, hearing it in the context of everything. I was like on the verge of tears too because... I was like, just hearing it all come together, I'm like, wow, this is what it was. Folklore debuted at number one on Billboard for Soundhouse. It's still wild. It's it's crazy to comprehend. It was an unexpected opportunity to share a little bit of Lakeland with the world and some beautiful music at a time it's needed more than ever. This, the Taylor Swift thing, is the first, like, pretty major thing. And we didn't even know about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it only takes one one thing to like work out but like it's also like all the hard work that it took to get to that moment. Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.